Yes, good morning, everybody. In previous class, we discussed in regarding as a iron and steel industries. Iron and steel industries. In previous class, we discussed in regarding as a 10 integrated mini steel plants mini steel plants which are set up after the independence of india after independence of india first tisco T I S C O Tata Iron Steel Company, Tata Iron and Steel Company, Tata Iron and Steel Company, located at Jamshedpur, Jamshedpur. It's in a Jharkhand, Jharkhand, which is now as presently as completely private sector, managed by the private sector, private sector. Private sector as a responsible for the management management work of a Tesco. Second is a Tesco, India, India Iron and Steel Company. India Iron, Indian Iron and Steel Company located at Burnpur of Burnpur district of West Bengal. Burnpur district of West Bengal. It is as managed by the public sector. Public sector managed the ISCO. Public sector managed ISCO. Third, Vishveshwarai Iron. Vishweshwarai Iron and Steel Limited, Iron and Steel Limited, Vishweshwarai Iron and Steel Limited, located at Bhadravati, Karnataka, Bhadravati, Bhadravati, Karnataka, Bhadravati. Karnataka, which is now as a presently managed by the public sector. It is as a public sector firm, government agencies are responsible for a management in a Vishweshwarai Iron and Steel Limited plant. Next as a Bhilai Steel plant, Bhilai Steel plant located as a Bhilai B H I double A B H I double L A I Bhilai steel plant. It's in a Chhattisgarh managed by the public sector, managed by public sector, managed by public sector, public sector. Next Raurkela steel plant, Raurkela, Raurkela steel plant. Raurkela steel plant located as a Rahurkela of Odisha. Raurkela of Odisha. Raurkela of Odisha. It's in a public sector. Public sector. Public sector. Clear? Public sector. Next. Sixth, as the Durgapur steel plant, Durgapur steel plant, Durgapur steel plant, located at a Durgapur, West Bengal, West Bengal. It is as managed by the public sector, public sector, Durgapur, Durgapur steel plant. 
located at uh, Durgapur of West Bengal, managed by the government. Next, Bokaro Steel Plant. Bokaro Steel Plant. This is the largest in India. Bokaro Steel Plant. Bokaro Steel Plant located at the Bokaro. Located at a Bokaro. It's in a Jharkhand managed by the public sector. Jharkhand. Public sector. Next. Next as the Salim steel plant. It's in a Tamil Nadu. Salim. S A L E M Salem Steel Plant located at a Salem district of Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu. It is also a public sector, except only as a Tesco. All the steel plants are managed by the public sector. Public sector. Public sector. Next. Vishakha Patnam Steel Plant. Vishakha Patnam Steel Plant. Vishakha Patnam. Vishakha Patnam Steel Plant. It's in a Vishakha Patnam of Andhra Pradesh. Vishakha Patnam Andhra Pradesh. Vishakha Patnam. Andhra Pradesh managed by the public sector. And last as a Vijayanagar steel plant. Vijayanagar steel plant. Vijayanagar steel plant. Vijayanagar steel plant located at a Vijayanagar district of Karnataka. It's also as a managed by the public sector. So total 10 integrated mini integrated steel plants, primary integrated steel plants, which are, are function or responsible for the manufacturing of steel in India. In 1950s, in 1950s, India and China produce about the, about the same quantity of a steel. Today, China is the leading producer and consumer of a steel in a world market. In world market, in 2004, India, in 2004, India emerged. In 2004, India produced as the So in 2004, India emerged as the largest exporter of a steel of global steel trade global steel trade in a world economies, world economies. India has not been able to compete in an international market in relation to the manufactured goods, manufactured steel materials. It's due to the limited availability, limited availability of high cost of cooking coal, Limited the problems associated with the iron and steel industries in India are the limited availability of high quality of coal, limited availability of high quality of coal, second, lower productivity of labor, lower productivity of labor, lower productivity of labor third first high cost of limited availability of cooking coal for a smelting purposes their lesser availability has responsible for the problem associated with the iron and steel industry second as a lower productivity of labor third irregular supply of energy irregular erratic power supply, poor infrastructure, 
पुअर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर पुअर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर नेक्स्ट लैक ऑफ रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट लैक ऑफ रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट lack of research at research and development but still but still as a iron and steel industries they are as a function in our country due to as a liberalization which policy adopted by the indian government in the 1990s liberalization and a foreign direct investment have been a boost to this iron and steel industry with the efforts of private entrepreneurs our government should allocate the funds for a research and development in producing quality steel at competitive prices in international market after all once a uh, uh, once of a time when as the ashoka it was as a used ashoka used as the purest form of iron around as a 2300 years back 2300 years back it gives as the it gives as the information regarding as the best quality of iron best quality of iron which was used by the ashoka in his pillar at mehroli mehroli shows as the shows as the glory of indian past indian past clear iron and steel industries are known as a basic industries which are categorized under the metallurgical industries basic in the sense it has supported for the growth in other sectors of economy with the use of iron and steel the infrastructure has developed infrastructure has developed and machines are manufactured based on it that's why the iron and steel industry is known as a basic industries basic industries next are the aluminium smelting aluminium industries aluminium smelting aluminium smelting aluminium smelting is the second important metallurgical industry in india afterwards the steel aluminium is a universally accepted aluminium is universally accepted metal for a large number of industries because of its flexibility and a malleable nature its flexibility and malleable nature good conductivity of heat and electricity it is as a light and inexpensive it is as resistance to the corrosion it has gained popularity aluminium gained as a popularity as a substitute to the steel copper lead and zinc in a number of industries there are the eight aluminium plants in india located in odisha located in odisha located in odisha which has managed by the two of the agencies of a government these are named as a nalco and balco which we discussed in a previous chapter nalco and balco bharat aluminium b a l c o bharat aluminium company भारत एल्यूमिनियम कंपनी भारत एल्यूमिनियम कंपनी एंड नेशनल एल्यूमिनियम कंपनी दीज टू पब्लिक सेक्टर एजेंसीज पब्लिक सेक्टर फॉर्म्स रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द फंक्शनिंग ऑफ एल्यूमिनियम इंडस्ट्रीज इन इंडिया एल्यूमिनियम इंडस्ट्रीज इन इंडिया ड्यू टू एज द फंक्शन ऑफ दीज टू फॉर्म्स eight aluminium plants are allocated in a these are allocated in a parts of odisha these are allocated in a parts of odisha west bengal odisha west bengal chatisgarh 
केरल उत्तर प्रदेश महाराष्ट्र एंड तमिलनाडु महाराष्ट्र एंड तमिलनाडु दीज प्लांट्स टुगेदर प्रोड्यूस मोर देन सिक्स हंड्रेड मिलियन टन्स ऑफ एल्यूमिनियम एवरी ईयर द ओर ऑफ एल्यूमिनियम इज अ बॉक्साइड इट इज द वेट लूजिंग इंडस्ट्री raw material has to be refined to obtain metal around 4 to the 6 tons of bauxite is required to produce 1 ton of aluminium which require as a huge power consumption power consumption so for a smelting of a bauxite we need as a regular supply of water regular and uninterrupted power supply is desirable for a growth of aluminium industries growth of aluminium industries regular and uninterrupted supply of power is most it is as a must for the aluminium production 30 to 40 percentage of a cost of production is contributed by the power usage the two major factors which are basically as a responsible for a aluminium industries are the assured and regular supply of electricity second as the supply of a raw material at low cost supply of raw material at low cost the process of a manufacturing of a manufacturing of aluminium as function to as a bauxite the alumina extracted that alumina which has later in stage transformed into as the aluminium aluminium is a widely used in a aeronautics in a aircrafts aluminium is a widely used in a aircrafts in aeronautic industries in domestic utensils electrical wires electrical wires aeronautics and domestic purposes for a kitchen utensils doors windows for which as the aluminium as used in a widely as the light in weight it is as also used as a substitute of a iron substitute of iron which which is also as the rust free aluminium is as the rust free clear it is the rust free next are the chemical industries chemical industries chemical industries chemical industries which occupies an important place in indian economy and contributes the 3 percentage in gdp of our country 3 percentage in gdp it is the third largest in asia indian chemical industry is third largest in asia and the 12th largest in a world economies 12th largest in a rest of the world rest of the world due to its terms of size chemical industry of india is the fastest growing and diversifying industries it is under the large scale and small scale as well as under the public and a private sector public and private sector firms rapid growth has been recorded in both inorganic and organic chemical industries the heavy inorganic chemicals include the sulfuric acid nitric acid caustic soda alkalis and soda ash are widely used in a different industries as a different industries as a raw material such substances used in a different industries as a raw material raw material like as a sulfuric acid is used in the sulfuric acid used in the used in manufacturing of fertilizers synthetic fibers manufacturing of fertilizers synthetic fibers plastics plastics adhesives paints paints dye stuffs etc dye stuffs 
etc d y e s t u w f s dye stuffs etc second soda ash are used for making glass soaps detergents paper detergents paper paper caustic soda is widely used in a soaps and detergents soaps and detergents the products are used such products are used widely even in our day to day life so the inorganic chemical industries are located all over the country in wide scale all over the country in a wide scale as compared to this the organic chemicals organic chemicals includes petrochemicals used for the manufacturing of a synthetic fiber manufacturing of synthetic fiber synthetic rubber plastics dye stuffs drugs and pharmaceuticals medicines pharmaceuticals pharmaceuticals organic chemical plants are located near the oil refineries through which as it can easily as consume afterwards the refinement of a crude oil in oil refineries organic chemicals have helped organic chemicals have helped in producing the pesticides and enhanced the production of a pharmaceuticals which contributes significantly to our exports it directly as influence over the increase in a balance of trade positive balance of trade in relation to the chemical industry india exporting our chemical products to the other countries for the earnings of a hard currency clear hard currency next is the fertilizer industry fertilizer industry fertilizers industry the first fertilizer plant it was as set up at a rani pit r a n i p e t tamil nadu in 1900 e 1906 the first fertilizer plant it was as set up at in tamil nadu tamil nadu tamil nadu in 1906 1906 during as the british age 1906 the real beginning took place with the establishment of a establishment of a sindri plant s i n d r i sindri plant by f c i f c i yes sadana raghav sadana resurant raghav f c i stands for food corporation of india under the management of a food corporation of india the first steel plant afterwards the independence set up at the sindri s i n d r i sindri 1951 same in tamil nadu tamil nadu the demand for the fertilizers actually started increasing after the introduction of a green revolution in the 1960s when green revolution introduced in a parts of a punjab haryana and the western parts of uttar pradesh with this as the fertilizer industry started to growing in indian economy which resulted in awareness amongst the farmers as a result the fertilizer industry spread to the length and breadth of country except the extreme north and the north eastern states india produces the nitrogenous substances nitrogenous fertilizers to the world economies nitrogenous fertilizers to world economies which includes as a phosphate ammonium phosphate which is well known as the dap 
complex fertilizers with the combination of a nitrogen phosphate and a potash potash which are known as a npk npk potash is totally imported as we do, do not have commercial reserves india is the third largest producer of a nitrogenous substances nitrogenous fertilizers there are a number of the units manufacturing fertilizers they are these are the nitrogenous fertilizers produced in a 57 units urea 29 units and ammonium sulfate as a 9 units 9 units there are around 10 public sector undertakings and one cooperative sector at hazira in gujarat hazira in gujarat h a z i r a hazira which is as now as presently managed by the cooperative sector the fertilizer corporations of india the awareness and green revolution spread fertilizer industry to the gujarat tamil nadu andhra pradesh punjab keral punjab keral with the increasing use of the fertilizers in agricultural fields under the green revolution it spread among the tamil nadu gujarat uttar pradesh punjab keral accounting as the 50 percentage of our total production other states are andhra pradesh odisha rajasthan bihar maharashtra assam west bengal goa delhi madhya pradesh and karnataka madhya pradesh and karnataka fertilizer industries are the nodal industries in our country which has supported for increasing production in economy increase in production in economy when we talking about the fertilizers fertilizers use as a supportive for increase in production in a agriculture fields pharmaceuticals provide as a medicines to procure a people from a disease these industries are known as a nodal industries n o d a l nodal industries clear till there any questions till there any questions nodal industries n o d a l nodal industries clear next are the cement industries cement industries these are the one of the most essential ingredients of a construction industry is a cement industry cement is required for a construction of roads houses factories bridges airports dams educational institutes etc but presently as uh, specifically as the role of a cement has supported for a growth of infrastructure the building of a roads construction of a roads india's first cemented road as a yamuna expressway yamuna expressway constructed in between of a nizamuddin delhi towards as the agra towards the agra cement industry is a heavy industry which has used the raw material in a larger in quantities which is the heavier in weight heavy industry it uses the heavy raw materials and their products is heavy in nature the raw material required as a limestone silica raw materials required for the manufacturing of manufacturing of cement as as limestone silica gypsum gypsum alumina silica limestone which has required in a larger quantities for a manufacturing of cement manufacturing of cement besides all these the coal and regular supply also influence as the growth of a cement industries growth of cement industries clear cement industries
The growth of our cement industries are also influenced by the pool and the regular supply, efficient network of a transport. Efficient network of transport. The first, the first cement plant after the independence, it was as sorry, the first steel plant, the large scale industry, which was as a setup, the before of before of its as a first cement industry, it was as a setup at the set up at Chennai in 1904, 1904. But the real expansion started after the independence in 1989, due to the decentralization of this industry, the control of price and distribution and other policy reforms enhance the quality, capacity, production and production of a technology influence the location of cement industries in India. Today, there are a 128 large and 332 mini cement plants in India. We produce a variety of a cement. Some of the cement plants are strategically located in Gujarat for exports to the Southwest Asia, Southwest and Eastern Asia, Middle East, Africa, South Asia, apart, apart from a large demand within as the country, within as the country. Clear? Within as the country. Now as the next industry as automobiles, vehicles, automobile industries automobiles since last the two years of a last to the last year this chapter from the 10th but now as a this year has included under the syllabus automobile industry the road transport is the most commonly used used as a means in india various types of vehicles are used for quick transportation of goods passengers trucks Buses, cars, motorcycles, scooters, etc. These are used in a wide scale, which are manufactured in a large in number at a various centers in India. The, this industry, the industry, the automobile industries are concentrated in a parts of a Delhi Gurgaon, Delhi Gurgaon. These industries are basically concentrated in a parts of a Delhi, Gurgaon, Pune, Chennai, Kolkata, Lucknow, Indore, Hyderabad, Jamshedpur, and Bangalore. After the liberalization, the demand for vehicles with better design and engine technology increased. It led to the healthy growth of passenger cars, two and three wheelers and multi-utility vehicles. The improved, improved efforts for availability of cheaper vehicles, cheaper vehicles, it was as the uh, long run ideology of uh, our former minister, former minister Sanjay Gandhi. Sanjay Gandhi, he wished to sell as the vehicles at a low cost, the availability of automobiles in Indian markets at a low cost for which as a Maruti Udyog Limited, it was as established. Maruti Udyog Limited. Maruti Udyog Limited, the term given to the industry for availability of a quality and cheaper vehicles for country. Foreign direct investment brought in a new auto technology and aligned with the global developments. Presently, there are 15 manufacturers of passenger cars and multi-utility vehicles, nine manufacturer, manufacturers of uh, chemical vehicles, so, which are used for uh, commercial vehicles, and 14 of two and three wheelers 
automobile industry has also supported for the growth of a locomotives in india locomotives engines manufacture for a railways india's the first first locomotive center it was as a set up at a kanpur then in a visakhapatnam now afterwards as a kapoorthala which is now as presently known as a rcf rail coach factory railway coaches are manufactured in uh, that part of uh, rcf you are familiar with this which has located nearer to the jalandhar clear this is as the end of automobiles now the last industry is yes, it based industries information technology and electronic industries information technology and electronics industries which we will discuss we will start on tomorrow clear tomorrow we will start as a it based industries information technology based industries are concentrated in the southern parts of a country in karnataka telangana